When you go to church? We don't go to church, we go to a masjid. Well, Muslim, I go to church. Listen, oh, wait, well, what is this? I go and pray. Did Jesus what? teach you that? Jesus did. He taught you to do that? To pray. That's not like this little cross thing you did. Did, yeah. Je did Jesus do that? Yes. No, he didn't. Well, Show me in the Bible. I do it myself. But Jesus didn't do it. So you don't follow Jesus. You follow yourself so what you or your church. Uthman, you know so little about Christianity, let alone ecclesiology, which is the study of the church, ecclesia in Greek, that anytime you open your mouth about anything Christianity related, I genuinely cringe. The church is the body of Christ based on many passages. Here are just a few examples. It is a theme theandric mystery, meaning both divine and human. Jesus Christ is inseparably human and divine, so the church as the body of Christ has the same two natures, inseparable yet distinct. Friar Thomas Hopko describes the church as a divine reality with a human form made divine by grace. I'm saying all this to make the point that the church is authoritative in a divine sense. It is not merely a physical congregation of believers, meaning the church has the authority to institute certain practices and rules as long as they are not contradictory to the teachings of Jesus. Jesus and the apostles. And there is nothing anti-biblical about the sign of the cross. The cross is deeply spiritually significant in the Christian faith. Once a tool used as punishment is now a reminder of the crucifixion, of Christ's victory over death. It's also an expression of our faith in the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And there is a lot more I could say on this. But you saying it has to be directly stated that Jesus did this is not only dishonest, inconsistent, hypocritical, but it's also an argument for from silence fallacy. What if I said nowhere in the Quran does Allah reveal to do Salah five times a day? Oh, so you follow Muhammad and not Allah. See how dishonest that would be? That's exactly what you're doing. Jesus did that. He put his forehead on the ground and prayed, like I do. He's always did. Yes, he did. Jesus. Jesus. He's always did. Yes, he did. Yeah. Yes. And it's in your Bible. Yes, it is. You guys know I beat this low effort argument to death already in previous reels, so I'm not even going to address it because it's so bad. Stay away from Islam.